Hi, I'm Jessica Legray with Bentley Systems. In this video, I'll show you how to model a dummy leg, also known as a base elbow support or trunnion, as a pipe. This method is useful if temperature needs to be considered for the dummy leg itself. For example, if it's insulated or connected to a high temperature line. Using this method enables the model to capture the radial thermal expansion of the bend along with any thermal growth of the dummy leg itself. Here we're looking at the recommended method for modeling the dummy leg as a pipe. Let's take some time to look at how this was modeled. Starting with a short example of a pipeline, we are going to be focusing on the bend. To connect the dummy leg to the middle of the bend, we will check on the midpoint option. Connecting directly to the midpoint represents a fully welded moment connection by considering the rotation of the bend. Next, I will adjust AutoPipe's default rigid beam section to represent our trunnion correctly. By changing it to a pipe with an outer diameter of 6.625 inches. And I'll insert this section ID connecting it to the midpoint of the bend and out a short distance toward the outside of the bend, which I'll name as point B00. This is necessary to connect the trunnion components to the pressure components because Autopipe uses centerline dimensions. From this new point B00, I'm gonna insert a new segment defined as segment B. Because it's a very short section that I entered, I'm going to use my view commands to change to single line view and zoom in a bit so I can select that point B00. I'll insert my new segment, segment B, and I'll define the pipe data identifier as trun because this will be representing my dummy leg. I'll define the trun pipe ID as a six inch standard pipe, which is representing my trunnion. And I'll change the specific gravity of contents to zero because there are no contents in the trunnion. Remember that this trunnion will really be connected to the outside of the bend. So the first thing we want to do is insert a pipe component that takes us to that point. This will be a rigid section of pipe and it only serves the purpose of capturing the radial thermal growth of the bend and connecting the dummy leg back to the center line of the pipe. So I first want to find my distance from my new point B00 to the outside of the bend and I can do that using my measure distance tool. Here I see the X and Y offsets, and if I need to, I can take a note down of this information. Then I can select my segment point B00, and I can insert my pipe run from point B00 to point B01 using those offsets. In order to make this pipe run rigid, I will select the pipe run, and insert rigid options over this range. I'll include the thermal expansion, but ignore the weight. Next, I wanna insert the pipe run that will represent the trunnion itself, which would be welded to the outside of the bend and go down to the ground in this case. So I'll insert a pipe run from point B01 to B02, and it will go down two feet. At the end of the pipe that represents the trunnion, I can insert any type of support that represents the real world situation of how this dummy leg is supported. As an example, I can insert an anchor. So now I'll view my full model in solid model view. And if I want to see the inside of the pipe, I can apply transparency to my pipe component. Lastly, because segment B is representing my trunnion, which is a non-pressure component, I want to change the pressure for that segment to zero. So I'll select my segment B and I'll modify the operating pressure and change it to zero. 
Thanks for watching and learning how to model a dummy leg as a pipe. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.